today, 27th February 2015. I'm going to give my full testimony for our everlasting God, the Almighty Yahweh, Yeshua the Messiah, Jesus Christ. This is my prayer. Abba Father, fill me with your Holy Spirit through your majestic divine name, Yahweh, so I can write this full testimony to glorify your holy name, not for my own profit, but to the hope that many will believe in your power and grace, that they may also seek you and love you with all their hearts. Since the day you have entered my heart, you have given me numerous visions and dreams for your second coming, and I want to tell the world that your words are true, and you are to fulfill everything you have said when you left your throne, came down to earth and be a man many thousand years ago, to show people how to be born, how to live, and how to die in this world. You are the creator of the universe, heaven and hell. You are the one and only powerful God who gives life, the only way and the truth, the all-knowing God who holds all mysteries in this world. Let me be your servant forever, and nothing can ever compare the joy and gladness in my heart serving you. Praise to your name, Yahweh, forever and ever. Blessed is your name. Hallelujah. Since I was young, I have loved God. I fear Him with all my heart. I was blessed coming from a God-fearing family. My parents, especially my mom, who instilled in us to always pray and have faith. Since I was six years of age until my university, I was sent to religious schools. It is where my faith in God and moral values were built in a very strong foundation. I have always been faithful to the religious doctrines that I grew up with. Until such time I became very busy with work, had my relationship, got married and have children. Through this course, I was very focused in achieving my life goals and dreams. To have a feeling of fulfillment and satisfaction that I have been longing for. I started my own family in a country with diverse beliefs. So there's this tendency that you become a free thinker and be the God of your own life. I had been attending churches there, but I just do not know whenever I go to church building, I feel something is wrong. So later part, have decided not to attend church and just do my own personal prayer to God at home or anywhere. Besides, deep in my heart, I know that I can connect God better when I pray alone. Years went by as I continue with life and, cha and ongoing challenges of a working mother and wife. I was, I was just simply content with praying by myself, reading Bible verses whenever I feel to do so. However, in 2011, my world turned upside down with an unbearable trial in my life, and I was broken to pieces. I began to question God why it happened to me despite of being faithful to Him. It was a very difficult period for me and my family, but I didn't lose hope and ask God to help me. I moved on with my life, trying my very best to keep going, be positive and determined that I can carry on with my own strength. But I was wrong. I had great difficulties and challenges along the way, despite having everything that a person could ever want. A good career, a complete family, and a comfortable life. Through these challenges, I cling to God, but during this time, my heart is still longing for something. Until one day, two of my siblings who have received Jesus and claim to be born again, had been sharing their encounter with the living God. I wasn't that interested at the time and I was telling them, I have a personal relationship with God. I pray to Him. I was prideful and so confident that I'm doing well with my faith in God. My youngest brother had been acting weird. At that time, I considered it strange that every time we see each other, he would speak about Jesus nonstop and I and asked 
to believe him and turn to Jesus. At the time, I was deaf with his testimonies, blinded by my own faith and my own understanding until such time that I didn't want to talk to him anymore. But then weeks passed by. There's something in me that I wanted to know and understand. What happened to him? I really got curious then. I started to listen to Christian music during my breaks, listen to pastor sermons on YouTube or videos. This went on and on for months until one day during my lunch break, I just click on a YouTube video, a song entitled Jesus, where the background was the passion of the cross. I was still multitasking then, doing some work on my PC. Suddenly, I just stared at the video. I saw Jesus being persecuted and crucified on the cross. And at this very moment, I felt something different that made me rush to the toilet. Upon reaching the door, I felt an unexplainable pain in my heart and soul and I was really weeping non-stop. It was as if I was the one being crucified on the cross. I was so afraid that someone may see me so I rushed to the one of the toilet compartment. Still weeping with unimaginable pain. I just truly cannot describe it in words. Then in a flash, there's a cold air entered into my spine, my whole body and through my heart and I quivered. In a speed of seconds, I felt tremendous joy, peace, and love that is beyond words. It was truly an amazing experience that I'll never forget as long as, long as I live. It was in mid-November 2013. I'm very sure it was the Spirit of the Living God who has blessed me. Because from that day onwards, I became very thirsty to know more about the words in the Bible. To seek more thoughts about Him. And every day, each and every day, I find my, myself spending a lot of time researching about Him. Since that amazing encounter with the living God, it had opened my eyes and ears to a lot of mysteries of the world. I had the gift of discernment where I'm able to discern evil in my surroundings. Can we book demons in His name and have had numerous visions and dreams. In this part, I will describe to you some of my dreams and visions in chronological order. You will all see here that for my first dreams, I still do not know the true glorious name of the Most High. I believe it was a process that with a sincere and humble heart seeking who He really is, he will reveal everything in his, in his perfect timing. Three January, 2014. It was a midday. I felt very, very sleepy. Unusual for me to feel this way during this time of day, and yet my body cannot fight it, so I fell asleep. Amidst my sleep, I had a dream. While I was lying down facing our window with closed eyes, suddenly, sprinkles of water and strong wind are hitting my face. Then, I immediately opened my eyes and wanted to stand up and check what's going on behind our windows. I was so frustrated at that time as no matter how hard I try, I cannot stand up. I even pushed myself even harder so I can move. Even tried to shout nor say a word, but to my dismay, I wasn't able to. Then after a few minutes, I heard a very loud sound of a trumpet, and this sound made me tremble and quiver, unexplainable goosebumps all over my body. After that, I saw my spouse next to me, and suddenly he talked to me about his experience with Jesus Christ. Yet still, the sound of the trumpet did not stop, so I rushed out of our bedroom and finally found myself in a huge hall with so many people. I walked out of the hall as if I was searching for someone or some people. Then I realized I was looking for my mom and dad. While calling their names, finally I reached the entrance of the hall. 
and then I was shocked with what I saw. I look up in the sky and there I saw a golden throne, shining so bright, sparkling with eminence, beauty and holiness. No words can ever explain its beauty. At the time, I can't help myself but to utter these words. Oh my God, it's Jesus! While goosebumps all over me. A few minutes after that, I saw my mom smiling and look at the sky. And as I looked behind, I saw my dad shocked and he fell down. My spouse was there with him and rescued him. 20 April 2014 in a vision, I was carrying two kids in my arms while casting out and rebuking demons in the name of Jesus Christ. Out of so many distressed, unruly, and disturbed people in the midst of a very chaotic sin, there was earthquake, tsunami, war, confusion everywhere. Some people were kneeling and pleading to God to save them. Some were hurting and killing themselves. Others were hurting and killing other people. And the worst, the worst thing I ever seen was there were many people who were cursing God. It was so horrifying. It was the most disturbing and frightening dream I had in my entire life. 18 May 2014 I felt very dizzy after a few minutes workout. Then I rested and keep on praying in my mind to Jesus to heal me and give me strength. Then after a while, I fell asleep. In my sleep, I had a dream. One weekend at home with my family, an unexpected visitor came. It was my high school friend who was living overseas. Was surprised she came over. However, I saw her very pale and looked so sick. Then she told me she is very ill. She came from a big gathering with others she thought believers in Christ too. She attended a big church. I let her in so she can rest. After some time, somebody knocked on our door and I was shocked to see a number of people trying to enter our house. They forced to get in. My friend told me she, she knew them and she didn't know that they would be able to follow her. They managed to get in trying to rob anything they see in our house. While my friend, me and my spouse managed to hide in, in one room, then my two kids in the other room. While we are locked and hiding, we can see what's happening outside through a CCTV camera. The people who enter their house and some other outside are very disturbed, confused, and hurting each other. Many turn to aliens and zombies, and in the CCTV, I saw they have this RFID chip implanted in their bodies that are making them very wild. While I was worried about my two kids in the other room, if they are safe, my spouse kept on telling me, Trust Jesus, they are safe. I am crying to Jesus to keep them safe, but so shocked with what I am witnessing in the CCTV. In a flash, I heard my daughter and son's voice calling and knocking in our room. We let them in and thank Jesus they were safe. Notice as well that the chaos outside were all gone. I went out to the room and some of our valuables are left behind. However, my laptop showing my Facebook account was hacked and they changed all posts to Antichrist images and contents. 19 May 2014 My whole family is in a very nice beach resort. We were chilling in one big gazebo. When suddenly was shocked to see a gigantic rising of water from afar. My eyes were widely open as I watched the water fastly approaching from all over the place and it's about to swallow us. It was very clear there was a tsunami. Then I closed my eyes and was shouting in prayer and at the same time clinging tightly to my kids and spouse and praying so loud. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, thy will be done, thy will be done. We're ready, thy will be done. Please save us. In a speed of second, I opened my eyes and was shocked that the huge waves of water in front of us just stopped from moving. It was truly unbelievable. 29 July 2014 There's a war that is about to start between United States and Singapore. I am in the Singapore warplane and saw a sign that US will first fire. 
So when I heard the bullets hitting our plane, I went down on my knees, heed myself and prayed to Jesus nonstop to protect me. I have heard so many bullets hitting us, explosions and chaos in the air, but I was just closing my eyes and praying so hard. After a while, I opened my eyes and noticed that I am alone in the plane and harmed. No bruises and no wounds at all. I knew Jesus shielded and protected me. Hallelujah. 6 September 2014 I had a dream that a great flood is swallowing all the lands of the earth and people are getting drowned one by one. Truly terrible. 7 December 2014 I saw the sky, a portion opened, as if part of the heaven was also opened. Then in the middle, I saw angels coming out, about 20 of them. They were very small from afar, but they're getting bigger and bigger while they're approaching people who were watching. When they reached the land, they looked like giants and they were very beautiful. They were wearing fine linen in different colors. When they came near the people, they communicate via their minds. They go to a person who was selected by Yahweh, and in their minds they will say, You have lived pleasing to the Lord, so now I will take you. Then, I saw a part of the New Jerusalem. I guess it was the entrance where there are four pillars, and I saw a bright and shining stairs to the throne of Yahweh God. This part was scared by the angels in the sky while they are flying. I was so amazed and crying all the time in my dream, especially when an angel approached me and communicated via her mind and saying the words to me, You have lived pleasing to the Lord, so now I will take you. But then I was thinking of my children and spouse at that time. But the angel told me through his mind saying, Yahweh took care of them. Then I had total peace. 27 December 2014 I rested because it was a Sabbath. Though I'm on a holidays and many invited me, I opted to take a rest and observe the day of Yahweh. In the afternoon, I had a power nap, and that uh, was the time I had this dream. While in the living room of my hobby's ancestral house, I had a glimpse of the sky through the window. And I saw the throne and many angels, and then I knew he now appeared in the sky. Then in a split of seconds, I saw my body slowly disappearing, just like a bubble, slowly vanishing. Then slowly I am raised up, but when I became in invisible, I am still aware of what's happening around me. In fact, I was checking on my family members, if they also disappeared, and who were left behind. I wasn't so sure who disappeared and who were left behind, but all I could remember was I was in peace at the time. And while I was vanishing, I had just given up everything to Yahweh and told him, Thy will be done. Twenty fifth. February 2015. This is my recent dream. I saw a scene in Luneta. Many people are lying with totally burnt and distinguished dead bodies. They were all scattered along the place. Then in the other side of Manila, I saw many people being caught, harassed and tortured one by one by people who were wearing black and their faces and heads were also covered with black, black cloth. Those who are caught are being slaughtered to death just like an animal being butchered. Very terrible. I was running all throughout my dream, afraid that they would catch me. While, ran while running, I felt there was a light protecting me, but it was only me who can see the light. I ran through a lot of hills, and along the way, no one caught me. I was very terrified seeing all the scattered dead bodies in all the places. It was truly, truly horrible. Yahweh have mercy on us. How did I get to know His Majestic Holy Name Yahweh? 
I was born again in the name of Jesus Christ. I still cannot forget that unspeakable joy when he ent entered into my spine and through my heart. But my journey didn't end there. For many weeks, there's a voice telling me, Jera, go back to basic, go back to basic. At first, I did not understand what does this mean. Until finally one day, while I was busy with a lot of errands for immigration to another country. At the time, I didn't have so much time for him. I was so distracted with a lot of things to do. But one night, before going to bed, I browsed the internet and just came across a YouTube video song entitled, Yahweh, You Are Near. I clicked on that video and played it, and while listening to the song, I felt tremendous joy and had an overwhelming feeling, especially when the name Yahweh is being sung. At the same day, my brother had been messaging me to check on some websites, but I didn't pay so much attention. The next day, I found time to check on the website, and my spirit rejoiced for what I have seen. A testimony of a man who was born again in the name of Jesus, but God brought him to, the, to heaven and showed him the last day of judgment. And finally re revealed to him his holy majestic name. I had goosebumps all over while he was uttering God's holy name, Yahweh. As if I was being electrified and again unspeakable peace and joy filled my heart. Then... I realized what God meant when He was whispering to me, Go back to basic, go back to basis. It is because I knew God's name back in my primary years in school. In fact, we were singing this song and through it, I remembered His name. However, from that day that I, that I understood Yahweh's message to me, I repented and did not become rebellious. I humbled myself to bow down on His holy name and testify testify about him instead of the name Jesus which I have been doing for more than a year then later on I did a lot of research in the Bible through the guidance of the Holy Spirit and learned that he was very clear that his name is Yahweh and this is only this is the only name that he wants to be remembered from generation to generation which includes now at present moment however it was omitted in the scriptures through the never-ending works of the enemy. Jesus is a name created more than 400 years ago. Uh, Yahweh, when he left his heavenly throne and became a man on earth 2,000 years ago, was named Yahshua, means Yahweh is salvation or Yahweh saves. My testimony the one and only everlasting God dwells among men who seek and love Him with all their heart. He is one and the same forever and will never change. His name is Yahweh. Our salvation only comes from Him and no one else. He had given the name Yahshua, meaning Yahweh saves or Yahweh salvation, under heaven by which all men on earth must be saved. If you seek Yahshua with a humble heart, you will find Him and He will make you brand new. He is the only way, the truth, and the life. It is only through Him that you find everlasting happiness and inner peace. Knowing Him is loving Him above all, obeying His commandments, living life in daily repentance and prayer, turning away of sinful ways, and loving others as we love ourselves. Yahweh will deliver us from any evil. He is our only shield, our fortress, and our Redeemer. He is our only Savior, and when He comes and judges the living and the dead, He will fulfill His promise to all those who love Him with all their heart, and that is to have eternal life and be with Him in paradise. The enemy Satan will work all means to distract anyone who seeks Yahweh. But don't be afraid. Take heed. Yahweh is faithful. He will never forsake those who truly love Him. Friends, I have experienced Yahweh, the living God, the great I Am, our Elohim, through a song with a humble heart to know Him deeper. It happened to me. I know 
it can happen to you too. This is my testimony forever. All glory and praise to Yahweh. Blessed is His name forever and ever. Hallelujah. I am a mother of two beautiful kids, a wife of a loving and supportive husband. I am glorifying the holy name of our almighty God, Yahweh. I am His servant. Blessed is His name forever. Hallelujah. this thirst to understand the things none of this world can offer but then I just went on and lived life at its best pursued my dreams striving and climbing many mountains and then I got exhausted and desperately needed rest The next day I would stand up and try again I surely believed in myself That I could carry on and on Battling all the chaos Just to find out I was wrong Realize I can't do it And grew weary and confused I'm tired and was heartbroken Until I heard a song When you have no one to turn to Just call on his name He has been waiting patiently For you to seek him That's broken Thank you Yahweh My Lord